Is this happening to you? then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, I'll show you how to defeat Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. If you want to be an absolute legend and support the channel, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. I'll just show you the setup that we're working with. We have a Keen Scimitar Plus 7, Keen Scimitar Plus 6, a Kite Shield plus 4, which has 100% physical damage negation. We've got a Green Turtle Talisman for increased stamina recovery speed. We've got Crimson Amber Medallion, which raises maximum HP. In the Flask of Wondrous Physic, we've got a Crystal that increases our stamina recovery speed and a Crystal that raises our maximum stamina. And we might pop some Pickled Turtle Neck for extra stamina recovery speed. I'll also show you a ranged strategy in Phase 1, which might help with some of the Singing students. In this fight, you can use Spirit Ashes forward slash Spirit Summons. However, I would recommend saving them until Phase 2. Let's get into the fight. Okay, so Phase 1 is all about attacking these students that are singing. They have that golden glow around them, and they'll also be shooting uh, these books at you. Uh, with these, what you can do is, if you can't actually see them on your screen, they'll be singing that weird little song. And the further away that you get from them, the quieter the song will be. And then the closer that you get to them, the louder the song will be. So keep that in mind if you can't see them and uh, you need to locate them. So that is that. And essentially we have to attack them three times, uh, three separate students, uh, to break the golden sphere that is protecting Renala. It's kind of like floating up in the sky there. Um, so technically you don't actually have to kill this enemy right here, you just have to attack them. For example, if we just attack one time, it takes away uh, the singing and the golden glow, and it puts it onto the next one. So this is the second one. I'll just show you a quick strategy. Oh yeah, just watch out for all the stuff that's kind of like falling uh, from above and stuff like as you're running around. Uh, I was going to show you the ranged strategy. I don't really tend to use this one too much myself, but it may come in handy. Uh, you can also try and look for an opening and just shoot the one that's singing. Now we'll move on to the third one. So after we attack this third one, she will then fall from the sky and that will be our chance to do some good damage. So let's go for it. That's the third one. You can run over, try to have full stamina, hold down right trigger for a charge, let that go as the golden barrier breaks, then just go to town. Usually until about halfway, and just watch out for that attack there, try and get away. Now this is the second phase, so we'll start to get a bit crazier in this bit, in this phase. So if you can do, try and be fast at locating the students. So you can avoid all the crazy stuff that's coming at you. That's three of them. Heal up, hold down right trigger. You can finish her off here. Uh, what you can do is, if you can leave a little bit of health, you can pop a pickled turtle neck, then finish her, then flask. Watch out for the fire. So now we've got the flask and the pickled turtle neck both applied. All right, so at the start of phase two, run straight forward and then get attacking. You'll avoid her attack and you can also punish. A lot of the time in this phase, I recommend staying relatively close to her. Um, a lot of the attacks, you're kind of just running and rolling to the sides to avoid most of them. Uh, if you're going to use spirit summons, forward slash spirit ashes, this is the phase to whip them out in phase two. Uh, that is a home in attack there. Got the staff spin to win. Uh, like I say, with this phase, it's just a lot of running and rolling to the sides to avoid. Uh, she will eventually do spirit summons in a second, uh, when you push her health down a little bit further. It's usually about halfway. So we'll push her onto the uh, spirit summons phase. Oh, this is the uh, full moon attack, so 
Uh, with this one, I'd probably back up a little bit. You don't want to be underneath it. It will do a massive explosion. Uh, like that. This attack here, you can just back up a second and heal up or apply some more buffs. Uh, what we'll do is we'll buff up. And then we'll push it onto the next uh, phase. I'll try and show you the spirit summons. Uh, watch out for that sort of like, a, almost like a shotgun blast attack that she does because it can one shot you. Um, if all of the uh, blast does get you, so watch out for that. Okay, so let's buff up. I'll try and push it. Just staying close. That's the summon animation. This one is the dragon. So the dragon will breathe fire across, and then it'll go into a bunch of other attacks. Um, I'd recommend ignoring the summons and just focusing on Renala. The summons will disappear, uh, usually after about five or six seconds or so. I'm gonna rebuff. So that was the dragon one. Uh, just keep in mind that she's obviously doing the other attacks at the same time, which is obviously quite spicy. Uh, the wolves just attack. Get rid of them. Stay quite close once again. Remember to keep topping up your health. Another summon. This one is... Giant. So Giant will kind of like jump out of the sky and do a ground pound attack. And then a couple more, a couple more attacks. Then it will disappear. Another summon. This one will probably be Bloodhound Knight. For this one, just keep on rolling and running away. Or you can whip out a, a shield if you've got a good shield to block that guy. Uh, but by the time that we've made our way back over to Renali, you see that the summon's already gone, so it's usually not worth uh, actually focusing on the Spirit Ash. Okay, so that's all the stuff that she's got to offer, really. So other than that... Keep on top of your health. Got the wolves again. And like I say, just focus on Renala. And you'll be good to go. There we go. And that is the fight. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way. If it did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. You can check out all the other content that I make at azavar.com. The link is down in the pinned comments. That's azavar.com. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.